YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Dieris here. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, it's been a little of a hiatus here. Um, I know I haven't been uploading a lot of videos. And there's a reason for that that I assume that you guys all know about. And that's something that starts with the letter C. Um, so I really haven't been thrilled to kind of go outside and do like some vlogs. Um, I just kind of want to lay it low and kind of stay safe there. So that's why we're doing this small talk video here. Um, basically, um, I just want to kind of be chill and just stay inside. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to look at some of my old photos from portraits to street photography. And basically, we're not going to really critique them or I'm not going to critique them. I'm just going to kind of look back at, you know, the photos and kind of explain to you guys what I was thinking at the time for, you know, these particular shoots. Um, maybe I would suggest something I would have done differently with all the knowledge that I have gained now, or maybe they were perfectly fine just, ha you know, how they were. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do today in the small talk video. Um, and also too, if this is your first time coming across this channel, um, you know, this is a new growing photography channel. I primarily shoot with the Fuji camera systems and, um, yeah, I would definitely suggest you to hit that subscribe button because this is a channel that you're going to be here at the very beginning. We're going to grow this community and become the big boys out there or something. I don't know. I couldn't really think of anything else. But anyway, just follow along the journey. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment below because um, I like talking to people. I, I like hearing what you guys thoughts are with my videos. Like I want to talk. I want to interact with you guys. I want to make sure that the videos that I am presenting to you guys are reaching like human beings. Um, so, you know, hearing your thoughts in the comments below definitely, definitely helps me out there. And it just, you know, it makes the videos feel more alive. Uh, but it, other than that, let's get on with the content because I'm pretty sure that's the reason why you click this video. So let's go ahead and start with the first photo. All right, guys, so this photo here, this was actually my first portrait photo shoot. Uh, this is with with my friend Brenda, um, and actually at this time here, you know, I want to get into photography. She wanted to get into modeling, so everything just kind of like just matched together. Um, and for this photo shoot, you know, it was nice, you know, hot, you know, it's nice summer, uh, you know, a nice summer day here in Atlanta, Georgia, and um, I I knew exactly where I wanted to shoot this at. Um, I wanted to get this like '90s, like old school vibe. Um, and the location was at this drive through theater here in Atlanta, Georgia. We only have one of a kind here. And at the drive through theater, this is where I wanted that like 90s vibe. So she knew exactly what type of outfit to get. Um, I wanted to be colorful. And as you can see here, well, she's sitting on my car. <laughs> so my car got a little, uh, little spotlight too, as well. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely wanted to make this like very oversaturated and have like the colors pop. I really, really love like how clear and blue the sky was. It's just like everything just kind of like uh, aligned itself. Um, we'll go on to the next photo here. Um, this is another favorite shot of mine here. Um, and as you can see, I put like some blue tint in here with the post editing and Lightroom. Um, like I said, I kind of wanted to have that like nice 90s like vibe because in the 90s, a lot of the colors were very like bright and vibrant. Um, and there was like sometimes like a cool tone to it. So that's where you can see the little blue little tones here um, and around here. Um, only thing I would say differently that I would, would, would have done on this shoot is <laughs> I need to make sure to look for objects that's kind of poking in my photos. So you can definitely see this is like a, 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 a amateur photo shoot in a way uh, because any other person would have, uh, you know, cut that out. Um, and then I have another photo shoot where it's like, it's literally all the way up next to car antenna. Um, so yeah, but other than that, um, you know, I was very, very proud of this, this shoot here. Um, yeah, that was a good one here. The next one here, um, this guy here actually reached out to me. He, he is a music artist and he was kind of trying to um kind of trying to <laughs> uh yeah so this guy here he was a music artist who reached out to me um he was trying to basically promote his new music and he wanted to do a photo shoot so he reached out to me he said he wanted to do something at night night nighttime and i haven't done a night photo shoot at least for portrait wise um so i was like yeah let's go ahead and do it um so we picked this location um it was kind of like this local uh store outlet area here um this store oh well the store here on the other side was urban outfitters 
um, they were doing construction here. Um, and basically when we came there, um, I didn't really know what the shoot was gonna kinda be like um, because I never really went into that area during nighttime a lot. So um, this is this is where as a photographer, sometimes you kinda gotta go like off the cuff and kinda just like get in the moment. And if you have a model that's also being patient with you and loves exploring like new ideas at the moment, um, you can come out with amazing photos. So this is that very moment where we were looking around at nighttime and I come here and I see this light, this, this, this open light here under this like, you know, under construction roof or, roof or whatever. And I was like, dude, you know what? Stand right here. Cause I want this to be like a spotlight. He's a music artist. And I feel like having a spotlight on him shining on his back. It was like the perfect idea at the moment. So we took the shot here. This was our first shoot uh, of the night. Um, I'm sorry, this is our first shot of the night before we continue on um, doing some other uh, shoots in the series. Um, and yeah, I just love how it just like, just illuminates behind him and everything. Um, yeah, so that was my favorite one of, of that shoot there. Now this one here, um, so this one here, uh, I, I really love shooting this here. Um, but the funny thing is, uh, it actually took me a while to actually shoot this with the model um, because every time we scheduled the shoot for that week, um, she was limited on her time when she was free. Every time we wanted to do it, which was on a Sunday, it started to rain. Now, I wanted it to be a sunny day because I needed the shadows and the light and just, it just wouldn't have worked if it was a cloudy day. It needed to be clear skies, sunny out. So it took us at least about three weeks in order to actually get this shoot working. Um, this place here that we shot at was on the location called the Goat Farm. And the Goat Farm is like this very cool, hip, um, kind of like old school. It kind of looks run down, but it gives it this character. It's like this old school kind of art, uh, collective community of different artists and, and um, local things there. Uh, so you actually have to get a permit to actually shoot here, uh, which that, that took a while to get. Um, and and yeah, uh, I brought this here. It's one of the plants, little crown or whatever from Amazon for about like five bucks. Um, I told her exactly what we were trying to do, so she actually had this like cloth here. Um, and then later in the photo shoot, I actually have her lifted up, and we have a close up of her face, um, and we have like some shadows here in her face, uh, and that's why I kind of wanted to be sunny out. Um, and this was just it was just really cool. I, I kind of wanted to give that kind of like magical kind of like fairy vibe and then I, I wanted it to be in front of this like cabinet foul system thing that they have there like I said it's kind of like a art artsy area so when you go there there's a lot of different sculptures and things there and the cool thing is they have these vines like this like grass and everything has kind of like grown into these foul cabinets um, and if you check my Instagram page you'll see more photos of this shoot there um, and um, yeah like we played around with some of the foul cabinets as well like some plants coming out it's, it's really cool and this shoot, this shoot, this shoot, this shoot was, it's honestly one of my favorite shoots and it's honestly something that I'm trying to expire, uh, you know, inspire myself to continue shooting like this. Um, this was probably like one of my first shoots where I actually was trying to do like some type of fine art photography. Um, this was also at the goat farm as well, but this was inside one of the studios that they had there. Um, and, and yeah, and like, I got the inspiration for this because I actually saw like a painting online or something. And it was this, this, this lady who was like sitting down here and she had like, uh, some, uh, some ropes covering her eyes and sitting in like a chair just like this. And that kind of gave me that idea. It's like, Oh, I want to do a fine art photo shoot of this. Um, so I was looking for the location. Found it at the goat farm. Um, I love the backdrops that this uh, this uh, studio owner had, um, and he had the chair and everything there. So it was like this 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 is where we're gonna shoot at. So after that, it was all about finding the correct model. Um, I already kind of knew I wanted someone with uh, I guess pale skin or, or, or Caucasian for this shoot because it just matched the tone that I wanted to go for. Um, and I wanted someone with like some red hair or, you know, brunettes or, or, or whatnot, just to kind of just 
match and especially I kind of it was weird but I kind of wanted her hair to match um, the chair and there's a lot of other brown um, things in this in this series um, I know I keep saying but if you check my Instagram you'll be able to see more of uh, the photos in these series but basically this was about like this this girl who was kind of like trapped um, she was just trapped in the abyss. She couldn't see. She couldn't really move around. Like she, you know, she was, you know, uh, tangled up. And then as you go on through the different photos, you'll see like she becomes more free. Um, and um, the ropes are gone. She can see. She can move. She's untangling. Um, and that was kind of the idea that I want to go for with this. And this was really like one of my favorite shoots here. And um, you know, I did something as well with. Um, this mirror, um, that was, that, that actually was probably my second favorite one, but um, yeah, you, you'll see more of that if you go on my Instagram though. Uh, this one here, once again, um, I want to play around with uh, shadows and light, and I've always kind of had this idea of having a studio shoot where, you know, you have the light coming from the window on the model's face, and then you have these strips of like shadows, like lining up on the person, and you can see it also in the background as well. Um, this was also cool like little fashion shoot we did here uh, we did another outfit and I also played around with different plants we use a blue black backdrop and once again you can see more of that on my Instagram um, so yeah so these are some of my portraits that I've made in the past um, I'm pretty proud of these um, you know I, I kind of want to try to get more into to this style of work um, because I just feel like photography needs to be very creative and um, I don't know kind of just have like that, that kind of um, eccentric type of feel to it you know um, and for this shoot here and then this one here well this one um, I think I use one light but for this one this shoot here I use two lights um, now I'm someone who likes to just use a one light system because I just feel like it's easier to manage and as a beginner photographer um, it's you know it's just easy to work with um i don't really like using three lights for a photo shoot i feel like that sometimes is too much um and also too just to let you guys know i'm not like a technical person i'm not trying to be like oh you need to shoot at this focal length oh the iso needs to be this the shutter speed needs to be this fast or this slow i feel like that hinders you as an individual um, because you're trying to shoot like someone else. I think if you find your own methods, your own ways, you'll be able to create something new that maybe someone else hasn't seen because you're playing around, you're testing things out. So this is definitely not a channel where I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I did this and that, and it was at this focal length. Like, I don't really care too much about that because as an artist, it's all about you as an individual and being creative and creating what you want to create, you know? All right, guys, so yeah, let's check some street photography photos here. Um, so this one here I did in Denver, Colorado. Um, and I did this here with my uh, friend. Uh, you probably saw him in some of my other street photography videos while I was living in Denver, a deal. Um, and we went out uh, at nighttime to do some shoots here. And this one kind of like, after a while, after looking at some of my photos I took that day, um, this one actually speaks to me the most. Uh, I just like how everything looks. I like the, the headlights coming in. Um, there's so many people out. But the main thing is this guy right here. Uh, this guy right here showing his peace sign and you know he's enjoying it. He's enjoying being photographed from a complete stranger. Um, and I love when people interact sometimes uh, with street photographers. Like you know I'm not selling these photos. I'm not like I don't know your name. I'm not putting them on any illegal websites and just feel like you know I'm just doing art and I appreciate when somebody else they they kind of know what I'm doing and they go along with it um, so the cool thing is right after we took the shot as you can see here that's him right there and that's his friend he talked to us for a couple of minutes and he was just like oh yeah you guys are photographers like oh man yeah definitely you know hit us up we're looking for some photographers so see like things like that too if you're struggling getting work or getting yourself out there and you know, street photography is a good way to kind of network sometimes because you never know who you're going to photograph. So, let's see. What else here? Uh, I, I like this one here um, because I just like how these like light bulbs were just lined up and this guy was just walking right in the middle. I actually saw him kind of like down here and I knew I wanted him to be right here 
So I took a couple, like so many shots. I just waited until he got right here, kind of centered here between these two, um, I don't know what you call them, these two lights here, and bam, I took the shot here. Um, and yeah, and then I, I really liked it. And then as you can see here uh, with the editing, I kind of put some shadows here just to kind of make it a little bit more dynamic. Um, with this here because you know down here it's kind of dark so i kind of want to put that up there as well uh but yeah sometimes like you know you have an idea you kind of stay there you you know you position yourself and try to get that composition or that the subject at the right line of sight of where you want them to be and then you take the shot that's what i did here uh this one was pretty cool too here i don't know i just like the symmetry of this i guess uh much it there and this shot here <laughs> man this one took me a couple hours um because i saw this railing here across the street during the day um and i actually came back here twice the first time i came here i didn't really get the shot that i wanted so i started walking around taking shots somewhere else around the block and then i came back here before uh the sun actually you know set and i came back and I was able to get somebody here because the reason why the first time it didn't work is because people saw me like just standing there with my camera up just like this. And um, a lot of them were just like, nope, nope, nope. And they were hiding their faces and I didn't want that. Um, so the second time I came back to the spot, I kind of positioned myself. I waited till this guy walked a little bit, passed me a little bit, and then bam, I took the shot. Um, and I just like, I just like how it's like so dark. It's like, you know, kind of, I'm in this a little bit, and you just see this person's face just popping up right here. So, yeah. This is a closer up of it. But yeah, guys, I don't want to hold you guys for too long. I also don't want to make this video very long. Um, but yeah, this was just some of my past photos, some from like a year ago, some from like a month ago. and. Yeah, this was actually pretty cool. So I hope you guys like this. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, where, you know, I kind of go through, you know, my backlog of photos and kind of just pick and choose something and we kind of look at it and talk about it. Because um, this is new to me. Um, so, you know, I'm trying out so many different things on YouTube, just see what works and what I enjoy doing um, and what you guys like to see more of. But yeah, like I said, if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe like this video here. Like I said, comment below. What are your thoughts on these photos that I presented to you guys? But as always guys, stay safe and keep the dreams alive. Peace.